Allow yourself to relax deep into your heart chakra now. In your heart is where the peace of God lives. In your heart is where eternal love lives. When you choose to connect to your heart, you are choosing to be with your Creator fully. You are choosing to enter the Kingdom of Heaven. You are choosing to be consciously awakened by love. As you choose to relax into your heart and fill yourself with this love, you're choosing to be one with divine presence. Allow this presence to heal you completely. Here is where you can let go of any feelings that are out of alignment with love. Here is where you can let go of any thoughts that do not serve your divine presence. Now it's time to move forward, to leave behind these feelings and these beliefs that are keeping you from entering heaven. You are only love, and this is how God sees you. This is how you can now, in your heart, choose to see you. Allow yourself to feel and see God's love for you. Allow yourself to feel and see God's dreams for you. 
allow yourself to feel and see God's holy vision just for you. Take your time to relax and ground this new awareness into your heart. And bring this awareness, this new wisdom into the present moment. As you bring this new energy into the present moment, you can feel the shift into the next level of your ascension journey. Namaste. Hello everyone and welcome to today's card reading for the Sunday service. My name is Dennis and I'm Nicole and we are using the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle card deck for today which is by Colette Baron reed and we've already pulled three cards so we will get right into it. The first card we have is communication. This is the card. What yeah. does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> what I get from it is you see the wood and trees and maybe a stone and everything has the colors of the autumn. So you uh, everything what you have on the inner you also will experience on the outer. The inner reflects the outer and in the symbolic of communication is what does your reality show you on the outside you may mm -hmm. want to go into your living room or into your um yeah bedroom, bedroom and want to look around and what does it communicate to you mm -hmm. do you want to sort something out because when you see autumn is all about sorting out some things and also of receiving thanksgiving is on the autumn so what gives to you and what takes from you mm -hmm. so go into your reality and have a look around and see what the outer world wants to communicate with you and you yeah mm -hmm. give yourself the chance to have a deep look and yeah feel mm -hmm. into it what what it means, what reality wants to communicate with you. So it's basically taking stock of like every area of your life and seeing, okay, what what is what I am experiencing communicating to me and where, yeah, where can I heal and change what I don't like and grow in that area? Yeah, or where can I take, can I take care of myself a little bit more mm -hmm. and what do I deny or what do I, yeah, do I really love and what do I like and to fill into it. Perfect. The second card we have is the Queen. What do we get from this card? What do we get from this card? Well, there is um, a person sitting on the throne in a very white dress and what I get from it is that always remember that you are divine and white symbolizes the color uh, of innocence so that you're innocent and the queen is reflecting to me that you have the power over your reality and that you have the power to create in your reality and it mm -hmm. combines the first card so when you know um, that you have the power to create in your reality and heal whatever arises and whatever um, your reality is reflecting to you mm -hmm. that you can yeah relax into the knowing that 
you have the power and take responsibility and claim that back. Um, yeah, that's what I get from it. Perfect. I don't really have anything to add. So mm -mm. let's move on to the third card, which is birth, rebirth. So yeah, birth, rebirth. Um, so it's all about the new and what's coming next and what are the next steps. And when I think of birth and rebirth, it's about what person do I want to become? Mm. You know, you have the power to change. Shalia uh, twittered that um, when you want to grow, you also have to choose to change. Mm -hmm. So, and when you always want to grow and always want to improve, you have to always choose to change. And that's what I get from the card, that it's safe to allow the old to die. Mm -hmm. And this sounds maybe very dramatic, the old dies, but it's about what's not serving me anymore mm -hmm. and which patterns and which things and maybe which relationships um, does not serve me anymore. And you have the power and to change and you have, um, yeah, all you need to give yourself um, the support to grow and there's also this golden light mm. um, at the end of the tunnel at the end of the wood at the end of the path so there is something new something something fresh and gold is god and light and wonderful and rich richness um so Allow yourself to communicate with the reality and allow yourself to reflect on what's not serving you anymore and what's giving to you. And also remember that you are divine, that you're innocent and that you can have everything what you desire and just take a step in reflecting in which person do you want to be and or become and move forward in make it happen wonderful thank you thank you and yeah we wish you um a wonderful rest, rest of the service, service. <laughs> and yeah enjoy and see you next time thank you bye 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 Welcome to today's Sunday sermon. We are Twin Flames in Union, Paco and Deborah, and we are here to introduce uh, today's Sunday sermon by Laurentio and Alexandra. And the title of the sermon is How the Mission of Unionism Heals the World. So we are going to share about a couple of our insights and our takeaways on this uh, wonderful sermon, actually, that Laurentio and Alexandra. Uh, yeah. I love this too. Yeah. I feel very honored to make now the intro to their sermon. Mm -hmm. You want to start? Yeah, I would like to start. Then. Okay. Uh, what uh, was my biggest insight from the sermon about the message from unionism mm -hmm. is that um, we the, the, the mission, the mission of uh, unionism is that we create heaven on earth mm -hmm. or like also said the perfect life mm -hmm. for each person on earth and uh, this is possible through every person um, through the dynamic and through the um, teaching of unionism mm. uh -huh. Yeah, that's one of the things that I also resonated with when I was listening to them. Um, and they were sharing uh, like the mission of unionism in the new website that the church has. And it was very interesting because um, they were taking us step by step through the, um, again, like the text of this mission. 
And one of them was how clearly unionism allows each individual to create their own perfect life, their own perfect reality based on the ultimate truth. Yes. And that's something that I, I really liked. And of course, I resonated a lot with this uh, because it's a very logical process when we embrace unionism and we um, kind of like try on this teaching, we start seeing the results happen over and over again in a very empirical and scientific way. So I would like to extend on that, but I want to make sure that you share your piece about this. Yes. Okay. Keep going. Oh, okay. So uh, that's something that I actually also liked very much, and it reminded me at a point where science and religion were one, and they kind of like deviated from each other, but the teaching of unionism, it's kind of like bringing them together again, since it all, not only shares about spirituality from different venues, but it, again, like it, it invites us to take the journey step by step in a very logical and repeatable way, like where we see results one step on, and kind of like a trial error process. It's like, okay, I'm gonna try this, and if it functions, perfect and we integrate it and what doesn't function what doesn't serve what doesn't work anymore can be discarded and then we invite something new and we try that on and we are always kind of like unionism has a, a its own system of perfecting itself and i love that this allows such flexibility that invites everyone to be part of this movement and embrace this uh, teaching mm -hmm. i feel like you have the next piece yeah, it's um, exactly what uh, Lorenzo and Alexandra shared in, in their mm -hmm. sermon, is um, how kind of they also um, see this truth you talked about, mm -hmm. not because it's my truth, your truth, or their truth, but they found it in their heart, the truth, mm -hmm. which is the truth, and how kind of also... Alexandra shared how this truth uh, is also reflected in uh, the teaching of twin flame, of coming mm. together with your perfect partner, where you can see also that this truth, this desire is in the heart of people. Mm. And kind of unionism is extending that in all areas of our life. Like also with divine gaming, uh, or divine dish, divine dish, mm -hmm. and twin flame universe with twin flames. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's again like opening the branches of exploration. It's like uh, what we can find that uh, resonates with us and what feels good to us, and taking that in um, part of building our own perfect life, like the best life that we can ever have. And that's our heaven on earth. And how this teaching actually heals the world is by giving each other the space to do that exploration. And I love that they also mentioned that we get to do it side by side with our gurus and we get to see how the process unfolds while we are walking through it. Um, I don't know if this is the, the experience. I'm not that uh, well versed in other spiritual disciplines, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure if everyone can actually like, have that ex close experience with the, uh, the person leading them spiritually. In the exactly. Like, I don't remember having this with rabbis in, in like Judaism when I was yeah. kind of like developing that when I was a kid. But mm -hmm. here in Unionism is like our guru, Chef and Shalia, um, give this gift to us mm. and we received everything from them and we receive the way through uh, the way of unionism mm. yeah it's very nice to see it unfold like Lorenzo yes. and Alexandra uh, very well said um, like it's very empirical you actually get to walk side by side with them and you see exactly what happens when you apply the teachings mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, a very rich experience mm -hmm. to have. And it's a high honor, to be honest. Yes. Uh, to have the, the possibility of seeing how the, the teaching actually functions. Mm -hmm. And saying, oh, okay, I can try this one. Um, 
that's um, yeah I, I basically this was the the core of, of what I got from the sermon yeah. um, like the chance to do it with your gurus side by side and how unionism at the core it's always ever inviting each of us to explore um, how this functions with us how we feel about it what feels good to us what doesn't feel good to us and something else that they mentioned in their sermon was that the ultimate goal is to be in union and harmony with life yes with the flow of God mm -hmm. and I believe that there's nothing more honoring of each uh, our own unique individualities than a path that is open to everyone and it's inviting to everyone mm -hmm. and like that gives a lot of, uh, of freedom yes so mm -hmm. so relax and enjoy the sermon from Laurentium and Alexandra Welcome everyone, we are Laurentio and Alexandra Hello And we are today uh, Minister of Union for today's Sunday service Let's start with our three opening homes and our opening prayer You can follow along in your heart or aloud I am the only child of God, forever part of Him, and created by Him in perfection, and there always remain. My mind is my sanctuary, where I keep His holy creation sacred. I will only allow in His voice. I will only accept His word. Today I will hear the word of God. I surrender myself to His teachings through His divine channel. I will honor what he has spoken and accept it as, as his will. I will be obedient to his word, for this is my salvation. In Christ's name, Om. Um, amen. amen. Welcome to today's Sunday service. Amen. Today we have a special sermon for you um, because... Uh, we wanted to discuss deeper about the mission of unionism mm -hmm. uh, in the prism of the new text that Jeff and Shidia have provided for us. Uh, I think that part of why I love being a unionist right now is that we walk besides our gurus mm -hmm. and, you know, we can see live how the teachings unfold before us and, and evolve and evolve before us and i think this is a really um you know i, I feel very honored to be part of this journey in this way because i feel like all mm. of us um at least like for me i had like a desire to walk besides my guru in one way or another no matter how close or far i would be from them and to be able to you know, see how they live their life, right? And um, to honor that, we are going to go deeper with what Jeff and Shilia have shared in the new um, text that they have provided for the unionism.org website, because they think that, again, this is a new text. It's kind of like a new page of the teachings that has just been given to us and it's fresh out of the oven right mm -hmm. and um i think like it's safe for us to like um, allow ourselves to like fully integrate the the message that is uh being given to us and all of the beautiful awareness that comes with it and the the gift that it's being given to us through each and every um interaction with our guru and i think that 
uh, this message that has been given to us uh, through the unionism.org website um, page. Um, it's, uh, it's really deep and meaningful to us as unionists, uh, as, as unionists. And this is why it's uh, like important to go through it and meditate upon like um, the message. It's kind of how we go deeper with the uh, opening and closing prayer each time we, we have like a sermon, right? Mm -hmm. And um, just remember like in the opening prayer, uh, listen to his word. So we have some new words <laughs> given to us um, by God through our Guru. So again, it's it's a really like exciting thing to just be able to um, delve deeper into the teachings uh, with uh, this new gift that our Guru has given us. So mm -hmm. let us begin. Let so us begin. We are right now reading from the unionism.org website. So the first paragraph or the first sentence is this. Unionism is a set of logical, holistic and experiential guidelines to help you live your best life in harmony with all of creation. Mm. Good. I feel like with each and every like sentence or like paragraph, we can like stop and just, uh, you know, see how we feel about everything that's being given to us and like extrapolate upon it and like share our thoughts. And we invite you to do the same, to uh, to sit with this text and like um, share your thoughts and your feelings about it. Mm -hmm. So um, I really love... Um, oh, you want to say something? Yeah, like, <laughs> you have like... Something. You can share. Yeah, like it's about like having a relationship with the text, having like mm -hmm. really like mm -hmm. honoring this by entering a relationship with it. It's really important because that's how you honor this, because you are invited in a relationship by reading this text in the first place. Mm -hmm. And it's safe to honor that by offering a relationship back. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, honoring this invitation that our Guru is given us with this text. Good. So, yes. Um, so about the text and the mm -hmm. first, um, the first um, sentence. Sentence, yes. Uh, how do you feel? Like it's a set of logical, holistic, and experiential guidelines to help you live your best life in harmony with all of creation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like it's very grounded. Very like it, it's not like just follow me without any explanation. It's like a very clear and just. Uh, I'd say like a way that has been proven that works mm -hmm. and that that feels very good because it's a way that it shows you that yes you follow this uh yeah you, with faith but as well with logic with yeah. uh, with something to help you see that yes this is worth worth it and this is something that really works mm -hmm. and you need it's, it's about really like um seeing that the spiritual process uh, really like help you like um, come in creation, you know, in harmony with all creation, but through a very logical uh, process, so very mm. experimental, like you, you're doing stuff and you see the result and therefore you can share it's it. It's experiential. Experiential. <laughs> experiential. I think like it's different than experimental. I okay, think maybe I understood that word. Uh, not, experiential. Not right. We can Google the word and find out what happens. <laughs> like what, what it means. I'll do that. I'll do that now. We're doing it live. Well. That was not what uh, we expected, but we always surrender to what God wants us in every moment so we can provide to you. So, experiential yeah. means um, involving or based on experience and observation. So, again, it's like a very grounded, right? Um, something that you can observe and um, experience yourself. It's not just um, something that you follow blindly. And I think like this is, again... This is what attracted, you know, us and I think like many of you like to unionism and these teachings is that something is not 
it is based on God and it is based on faith, but what we are doing and what, you know, Jeff and Shini are guiding us here, it's something that it's, um, you, it's, it's also, proven. yeah, it's, it's logical and it's something that you experience and see in your life. And I think it's really important to like, um, go deeper with, um, the harmony with all of creation, uh, to live your best life uh, in harmony with all of creation. I feel like um, this is again um, something that it's really uh, deep and meaningful because it's not about one area of your life or some areas of your life, it's all areas of your life. Unionism helps you find, you know, peace. Um, and love in all areas of your life mm -hmm. in harmony with all of creation and i love that this is not just about um you know in harmony with all of creation means everything right so from um religion spirituality to science to um you know the earth you know living in harmony with the earth with everything right and i think like this is something that um um it's really like potent and deep uh to like take into account when um yes like when you like commit to this path of unionism yep good i think we can move to the next one yes so the next uh, text again from the next sentence from the unionism.org website uh, it says, it is based upon a set of principle and spiritual laws that we believe describe and govern base reality or truth. We invite and encourage the personal exploration of truth, so you can not only discover for yourself what is and is not truth, but so we can strengthen our collective understanding of it together. Yes. Mm. Just letting that sink in for a moment and letting us absorb the message. And again, this is, it kind of goes deeper in what you were sharing with the first sentence about this is not something that you, you need to like believe blindly. It's something that you, you can like take, you know, and apply in your life and see what results you have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our belief are, as unionism as unionists is that this set of like principle and spiritual laws is um, helpful and bene beneficial to again help you live your best life in harmony with all of creation right <laughs> so we're coming back to that um, and you know we do that you know by having a base understanding of what reality is mm. on truth uh, yeah what the truth actually is rather than what we thought truth was yeah not was it's my truth or your truth it, it's the truth the one truth that is applicable for for all of us you know this is at the core of you know us uh being one unionism as all of us being one the one child of god um the one christ consciousness mm -hmm. so we are tapping into that and we are actively choosing to to discover that and um i love that i love that i'm all about that mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and i i really love that this is like um you know the way that is being approached here is like an invitation like hey i i have these things and i think that they're really good they are the truth can you, you know, kind of like help us see, is this the truth, you know, explore these vitas, apply this in your life and see, is this, is this the truth, the truth, or we need to like maybe redefine our uh, understanding of the truth. Mm -hmm. And of course, like we understand, I mean, when this was written, I think it was with like, yeah, we know that was the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we understand the truth. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you want to see it as well? Yeah. Good. <clears throat> Um, yeah and, and this is like again it's for like our own I love that this is centered you know about like the reader you know and it's for the reader's benefit to kind of find out what's truth or not truth 
Uh, because again, I think this comes from um, like a life purpose class, like it kind of comes into my mind now that um, when you build your life on that truth, it will eventually like crumble away. Mm -hmm. um, we can see this very well, differentially I have shown in, you know, Twin Flame Ascension School with um, Twin Flames versus Soulmates, right? And what is a Twin Flame versus what is a Soulmate? And um, the fact is, and it's proven over and over again that, you know, a Soulmate relationship when it's, um, you know, it's not gonna... It's not gonna last, it's not... Yes, it's, it's not that, you know, foundation. It's not compatible or... Uh, compatible. Compatible, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, uh, it's, it doesn't work. It doesn't, let's say, it just doesn't work. It's, it's never work. It's not perfect together. It always involves compromise and things that doesn't feel good. Yeah, exactly. You know, when, you know, harmonious union, uh, twin, harmonious twin flame union, uh, it's, you know, the true, in a way, um, a vessel of romance and love in mm. in one's life of partnership of friendship of you know having that person that is for you uh that's coming um and your teacher don't forget about that yes <laughs> and your teacher of course it's teacher first actually um so um is the vessel in which you have this very intimate relationship that all of us kind of seek and desire in our hearts uh, is given to us through twin flames. And we might seek this at first through, let's say, soulmates, right? And we feel like, oh my God, I'm having this thing that looks like the way that I want it, right? But if I'm really honest and look at it, I see that it's not the truth. It's not that. Uh, it might seem like that, but it's not it fully. And I, um, I think like this is, again, one of the... Um, things coming back to like, to help you live your best life in harmony with all of creation. Your best life means the best, 100%, not 99%, but 100%, right? So therefore is that uh, kind of principle that Jeff and Shania have taught us in um, kind of like Twin Flame Ascension School and you know, what harmonious Twin Flame Union truly is, but apply to like everything, um, all areas of your life. And I think that's, mm -hmm. Amazing. Um, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for, for this. Um, and not, not just like the text, but like unionism itself. Now that, you know, we are kind of like expanding our understanding of it um, more by going through this um, together. Yes. And as we go through this together, we really are strengthening. And it's important that we are a collective movement. It's mm -hmm. not just one person. And that's what this is about. It's about all of us, all of us coming together and making this. Yeah, exactly. And I, I really love um, this last piece here about, um, so you, you can not only discover for yourself what is and is not truth. And again, this is where I feel like it's really, really compassionate for all of us to find out the truth. So we can build our life on the truth. So, um, you know, we don't experience um, any more um, crumblings in our life, right? Because it is kind of like an, an inner crumbling. For example, when you invest so much in a soulmate relationship and it crumbles away and you have to start over from the beginning, it's, it's really, you know, um, you know, hard <laughs> it's, it, it requires healing yeah it, it's really hard and uh to to go through that experience right so um when you are in this pattern of building your life on not truth you know we, you will experience this but however this is what is necessary for us to like um discover truth and uh, necessary in the sense of like awakening to like okay there's something not quite right here. And this is kind of what is guiding us towards the truth. Um, however, we can choose to like have like an, um, a more compassionate way. And this is why we're all here to have a more um, compassionate and loving way to go about um, um, our spiritual journey and our ascension journey by kind of becoming like truth seekers right? and finding out what's the truth. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. another uh, piece that I wanted to give here about the last part is like, um, but so we can strengthen our collective understanding of it together. Um, I'm just thinking about how um, in this community we uh, allow ourselves to go deeper and as unionists we allow ourselves to go deeper and see what um, what is truth and I'm just mm-hmm. thinking about um, the recent uh, shift that we have gone through like in Divine Dish with the menu and uh, that again, we had to go through like an exploration mm-hmm. of the truth, you know, with trying the, the American diet, um, the standard American diet. And we all went to that exploration together to see what's the truth here about this um, um, well diet way of living. And we all explored it. And at some point, um, like um, our gurus, Jeff and Shania, invited us to like sit down and have a conversation about it and see, okay, how do we feel? How how do we um, um, how do we go deeper with this, right? And I feel like you know that's a beautiful thing uh, about being a unionist and being in this community is that uh, we are going to be faced with um, maybe these moments mm-hmm. and. Um, where we can all kind of, we all gave our peace, for example, in Divine Dish at that time um, to create like a shift and a change that we all felt so much better afterwards. Mm-hmm. And the exploration continues, right? And, and this is the beautiful thing about this as well. The exploration uh, continues. We had things like this in um, Divine Gaming, like with Nightmare Craft, with especially the, the beginning of the game, which at first yes. it was really, really hard. And we kept, you know, having feedback from people and, you know, uh, the, having certain discussions to like allow ourselves to like okay, how can we make it easier? Like, how can you we change? It's more like how, how can you how can we make it in such a way that everyone can connect with it? Exactly right. So yeah, uh, I love to see how you know this is applicable, um, um, and we as a community uh, go to like this. Um, kind of like process process together right but of course this is applicable in our own individual lives yeah. and you know this is part of you know us you know embodying these teachings as um yeah just going deeper with it um ourselves mm-hmm. good good so the next uh, piece here mm-hmm. unionism is a result Focus science, meaning it must produce meaningful, meaningful, measurable, and repeatable results. Mm. We aim to, together, distill the formulas of life and then replicate them, replicate the results for those findings. Or from those findings. From those findings. I'm sorry. So again, I'm going to read that again. We aim to, together, distill the formulas for, for life and then replicate the results from those findings. Our findings are rich and numerous already and corroborate the findings of many of the great spiritual teachers from various religions and cultures throughout history. Mm. Again, so we're kind of just grounding deeper in what we already shared. It's, it's based on results. Uh, we... Yeah, but like here it's the important piece is that it has to be meaningful. Because, mm-hmm. okay, it is some results, but like, no, we want actual results that really make a change. Because something that uh, you content, know, yeah, font and and why is this is because like yeah like you when you heal and if you just focus on the small bits you're you're gonna have some change but not really like that meaningful but if you actually focus on the core piece to heal then you're gonna have a meaningful change you're gonna have a, a potent change in your life and that's kind of like. Uh, what I feel here is really focused on what matters than what, and rather than what we think mm-hmm. we should focus on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To have more re- real focus, uh, intention of what we follow or what we work on, so we can actually uh, invest our energy into that, so we can create something that like really changes mm-hmm. us and the way we're living. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. that I don't have uh... yeah yeah it's uh, it's perfect right and um as we said 
there are uh, already uh, a lot of like rich results to look at, including you know harmonious union, the results we have like with with divine dish, the results everybody has in finding um um their twin flames in finding deeper connection with God in healing through the mind alignment process in finding yeah. joy through divine gaming there's a lot um a lot of results to be to be seen mm -hmm. and you know appreciated and be grateful for and you know to honor that okay we do have uh, results here yeah okay. and it's at this point it's safe to recognize these results and mm -hmm. you know like uh, that's that's not to be denied yeah, and to see that these results don't conflict uh, with um, other uh, spiritual teachers, right? And uh, it's it's actually um, they're connected with a lot of findings from a lot of like uh, spiritual teachers from various cultures and throughout history. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh. Okay. So that's a beautiful one. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is indeed a beautiful one. So, going to, to the next one. As unionists, our goal is to create heaven on earth. Or the optimal reality through each... Our, optimal reality. Optimal reality, yes. Through each our own personal connection to God and knowing his finest creation, you. This results in a wonderful, joyful, fulfilling, satisfying and meaningful life worthy of a child of the Most High God. It also resolves all the underlying causes of suffering and misery that so many of us end up experiencing as a result of living based upon the unconscious thought system of the world. Mm. Right. I feel like there's a lot in this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... Um, Again, like we're coming to the mission of unionism. Mm -hmm. Goal is to create heaven on earth or yes. optimal reality. And this is on each and every uh, one of us through uh, each and every one of us cultivating a deeper um, relationship with God and with his finest creation, which is you. And I love that this correlates uh, very beautifully with the lessons from Sedona. I am divine. Mm -hmm. um, so, just a beautiful connection there that I just wanted to <laughs> to mm -hmm. go deeper with. Yeah, to mention, <clears throat> of course, this creates like a wonderful life for us to live. Like it's the optimal life for each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the, the life that we deserve. Mm. And we are already starting to creating to create that by like. Divine Dish map, mm -hmm. uh, Divine Gaming, mm -hmm. Union Dish. Twin Flames Universe, right? Twin Flames Universe, yes. Harmonious but, Union, yeah. Yeah, like with all of this, we're already starting to create. And as more of us claim our divinity and step into it and start to really like create heaven on earth around us, we're able to create even more. Like the idea here is to create everywhere heaven on earth, not just in one place, not just mm -hmm. create a patch of it. Yeah, and we do this again. It's um, it's understanding, you know, what causes you know suffering, and to see that you know suffering has been um uh, kind of woven into like the thought system of the world. So therefore, we need to like unwoven that and um write a new history in a way, make a new way for ourselves. And this mm -hmm. is what our gurus are actually giving us here. It's like a new way of being in in which we accept that we are divine, in which we accept that we deserve uh, our good. We deserve everything that we desire. We are divine and we achieve that through like our own relationship with God. Good. Mm -hmm. So with that, the, the last paragraph here, um, unionism, aims to completely deconstruct our fundamental thought system, which it dictates our way of being, bring it into the light of total awareness and reorganize it to best suit both our individual and collective needs as one humanity of total inclusion. All right, so this mm -hmm. is what I mentioned before. I really, really love this. It's, it's safe to look at everything. 
And this is something that, you know, Jeff and Shelia have um, told us, you know, as students is like, look at every thought you have and see why, why, why am I having this thought? You know, mm-hmm. it all starts within ourselves, right? And I think this is even more fa- powerful when we do it as a collective, as a, as a community, right? So yeah. I really, really love this. Yeah, because this way, as we do it as a community, we're able to actually like help each other when mm-hmm. we are in those thought patterns and just help each other get out of that. Yeah. Just by pointing it out, like there's something there. And it, this is really beautiful. And like, I'm, I'm really happy to be in this community. Like I know we are really grateful to stumble upon this community and be able to be part of it and to mm-hmm. like, we're grateful for all the gifts that we have received and we're doing our best to really like uh, share it. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's really something that has changed dramatically our life and has changed the life of, of many. And as we come all together and keep doing this, we're going to change the life of, of many more, mm-hmm. as it did to us, those who are here. Yes. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, as unionists, uh, it's really important for us to like go deeper with each and every piece of our uh, awareness that our gurus give us and this text is really really important for us and i thought it was like a really good opportunity for us to dwell deeper into it mm-hmm. um yeah if you want to see it as well to read it to move through it as well at your own pace mm-hmm. go on the unionism.org page and read it for yourself yes exactly and with that being said uh, i think i just want to thank our gurus for this um uh, um uh, wonderful um, text that um, brings us deeper into what it actually means to be a unionist and gives us, you know, like a lot of like um, awareness, uh, a lot of understanding about mm-hmm. what, who we are as unionists, what is our mission and what is our like standing. It's again, it's, this has been covered by Jeff and Shania in their, um, like sermons as well, but I feel like, you know, with this, we're just grounding deeper uh, all that we know and are. And it's, again, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for our gurus for giving us this um, this new piece. Yeah, and everything that they give us. And everything that they have given us. And, and they continue to give yes. us. <laughs> Good. Well, we got, feel complete. Yes, I feel complete too. So I guess... Uh, I don't guess, I know we're (laughs) we're going to the uh, closing prayer and closing Mm alms. Okay, so with the closing prayer. Father, I accept your word into my heart. I'll honor your will in my life and will follow you without hesitation anywhere you ask. I know you guide me into your heart where I belong. I accept that you are everywhere and your teaching is in all things. God, I know you provide me clarity in this teaching of union that I may be forever in union with you. I accept that you are in me as you are in my brother. I will not deny my brother your word and will share your teachings with him in any way you ask and only as you ask. For when I share my salvation with him, I fully claim my salvation and return to you with him. In Christ's name, um, um, Amen. Speaking this prayer in your heart means that you have accepted that you are on the path of awakening to your true divine nature. This is what it means to be an unionist. Follow the teaching of union with God wherever you find them and purify your consciousness into perfect union with your Creator. And now for our three closing ohms, please follow along in your heart or aloud. Thank you so much. 
Yes. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you for joining us in today's uh, sermon. We hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, we would like to conclude with uh, a couple of final insights, if you will. And there's something that I also um, liked about Laurentiu and Alexandra's uh, service, that it, or sermon, better said, that is yeah, like how the teaching of unionism invites us to um, reconnect to our truth as divine beings. Uh, I love that part specifically. And it also resonates a lot with the um, Sedona workshop that took place last October. So I know that many in the community have been working through uh, seeing themselves as divine. Um, we've certainly been working through that one again and again. And, and again, like something that I keeps calling uh, or keeps I, that I find I resonate a lot with is how inviting the teaching is. Mm -hmm. That it doesn't matter where you come from, what your experiences have been, the church uh, invites you also into different venues that you can explore. Uh, and you can try this on and see how it works for you. And as Laurentia and Alexandra were uh, pointing constantly throughout the sermon, how the teaching of unionism actually gives you or like each of us that space of exploring ourselves, of finding our oneness with the flow of life, that this is ultimately the goal. It's to live our most perfect life and always in harmony with like all of creation. So I love this sermon. I, I love the message. Um, I feel like it ties perfectly with uh, Jason and Chrissy's sermon from last Sunday too, about the mission, like the message behind unionism, um, and how we can find or resonate, regardless of what discipline or spiritual path we've taken before, we can still try uh, this teaching in a very logical, practical, scientific, step-by-step, -step, repeatable, and see how it results for us and that they actually invited us to check the new website of the Church of Union too, because like you can, we can all find exactly our way back home through all the different venues that the church actually offers. Um, Laurentia and Alexandra, as we were saying previously, they mentioned how we can experience this uh, flow, this harmony through either Twin Flame Union and through Twin Flames Universe or Divine Dish, Divine Gaming. Um, and yeah, just make that exploration. And visit our website, unionism.org, that you can watch our past sermons. <laughs> and you can also donate there to our Church of Union so that we can... Keep on spreading the message of exactly. unionism. Yeah. And yeah, we would like to invite you to after tea uh, after church tea time on our unionism spiritual discussion group in Facebook. Exactly. Yeah, so we can go deeper in this topic and of and course you can discuss sermon. about the sermon, a cup of tea in your hand. Exactly. And connect with other people that are already embracing these teachings. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So subscribe to our channel that you don't miss any further sermons and if you like to, we invite you to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. See you soon in further services. Yep. Yeah. Namaste.